Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. I am Stephanie FM. Today we take a look at a new Pochettino Tottenham Hotspur 3421 tactic. Now, it, there is some information on the Steam Workshop basically saying that this is a simulation of Pochettino's 3421 formation during his time at Tottenham Hotspurs. Of course, he also liked to use the 4231 system, but this is clearly the 3421. Uh, this is the latest update, final version. And what he basically did is he went to Norway, coached ODD. I don't know the Norwegian league at all. I apologize. But took a ninth place team or scheduled to be ninth and finished very top of the league. Also doing the double, defeating Lielstrom SK in the cup to win that double. So in the Norwegian league, it looked like a pretty nice job. Uh, we're going to take a look today with our three teams of Tottenham, Newcastle, and Wolves. And we're going to see how they do. But this tactic itself, starting out with a sweeper keeper in attack. Wide center backs on the left and the right in support. A libero in support in the central spot. Wing backs in attack on both sides. If I could click the freaking thing, there you go. DMs in the central spots in the midfield. Attacking midfield in attack, both spots, and then an advance forward as we usually see up front in attack. Mentality is attacking in possession, attacking with its fairly wide approach play, pass into space and play out of defense. Passing directness is shorter, tempo is higher. Low crosses work the ball in the box and run at defense. In transition, counter press, counter distribute quickly and roll it out. And then out of possession, a high press line of engagement, a higher defensive line, trigger press much more often, prevent your goalkeeper distribution, and that is it. As always, just pause where you want to see where things are and how things are actually done. I go through these pretty quickly. But how did it do for our three teams? Well, if we look at the table, you can see not too bad. I mean, Tottenham in 72 is probably a bit above average. Newcastle at 65 is a little bit above average, maybe. Wolves at 65 is definitely above average. Uh, so five, six, and seven, definitely not too bad placements whatsoever. Tottenham schedule looking not too bad at all. I mean, you do have a smattering of losses here and there. However, you move on in all competitions through the first half of the season. Into the second, you do lose out to Leicester, 1-4 away from home in the Carabao Cup uh, in the semifinals. So the first leg and the second leg, actually, you got your butt handed to you. UEFA League, you do go through the Champions League all the way into the semifinals. You lose out to Inter 2-3. And then you draw them away at home to all. FA Cup Final, you do get the cup over Newcastle. So two of our teams getting to the FA Cup Final. A big final and one of them clearly wins. Newcastle not doing too badly either. I mean, you do, again, smattering of losses here and there. But Carabao Cup, you do lose out immediately 1-2 against Burnley. However, FA Cup, you know you go all the way to the end. You lose out 2-4 at the very end. But overall, not a bad season. Wolves, I mean, a lot more draws, it seems, but still you got a smattering of green, a smattering of red, so not, I mean, clearly not the greatest of seasons, but for them, 65 points is pretty nice. Uh, but, I mean, look at this run all the way down. Carabao Cup quarterfinals is where you end it, but the, that Premier League run is fantastic. Uh, you do have a nice job at the end of the season, too. Uh, unfortunately, right at the very end of the season, not so much from Southampton all the way down, you do get one win, but a lot of points missed right there. But as you can see, two of those matches are against our own team. So, I mean, I guess you can't fault that. But I, I think if you picked it up, you could definitely, if you pick this tactic up with this team, I think you could do a little bit better than they did. I mean, granted, there are some fantastic runs in here. Transfer-wise for Tottenham, not getting rid of anyone of note, at least for a lot of money. Uh, and you're not really bringing in a lot of people. Georgian de Aracesta, Keita, I don't know, from Flamengo, uh, 14.25. And Robert Wagner from Freiburg for 8.25. So not really spending a lot of money there whatsoever. Newcastle do get rid of Diallo for 2.3 million and uh, Dubrovka for 2.2. They do bring a bunch of players in Tony Weston, Santos, Steele from Brighton we haven't seen. Uh, Bakali from Monaco for 32k, Shutala from Dynamo, there's your big one, 28 million, and then Munoz from Valencia B, although you do have Santos for 25 and a half. And we get Wolves, always the weirdest one. I mean, you get rid of a ton of players on loan, but only the 3.9 for Daniel Podence is the only real big note. And then you bring in Escayo for loan, 195k total fee. So what does that mean for our squads? As you can see, Tottenham, Hugo Lloris, Kulisevsky, and Kane doing a... Wow, I mean, they, Hugo Lloris with 60 goal or sixty appearances is amazing. Sun with 39 goals, above Harry Kane with 34. That is a nice grouping right there. And Kulisevsky with 21. I mean, those all have to be 
in the tops in the Premier League right now, I'm going to guess. Assist-wise, 23 for Porro, Kulisevsky, and Kane. The 19 and 23 are amazing. And that is a ton of players in the green, as you can see. Kulisevsky, Kane, and what is it? Arrasqueta. I don't know, but all of them doing fantastic jobs. 745 for Kulisevsky. 735 for Kane, still higher than his average, which is very annoying. Newcastle, Isaac again, not getting tops here. But you got Pope, Botman, and Trippier all in appearances. Goals-wise, 25 for Isaac. There you go. 12 for Almiron. That 25 is going to be high. This grouping, this listing in the Premier League uh, stats when we get there is going to be massive. Assist-wise, 12 for Trippier. Gumarois with 8. You got a couple with 7. Still a nice smattering of greens. Not very high for Isaac, though. Usually he, well, I mean, 731 is definitely fantastic. But usually he's in like the 7.4s, 7 7.5s or above. He's just an amazing player. Wolves, Saw, Collins, and Sarabia all up there in appearances. Goals-wise, 24 for Geddes. Wow, just bring him back. Sarabia, Jimenez, Cunha up there. Uh, not too bad. I mean, 16 and 17 is not bad at all, definitely. Sarabia with 19 assists. Fantastic job there. Average rating-wise, a lot of players in the green. You got Sarabia, and Neto, and Totti up there. Uh, 7 4 3 for Sarabia, though. That is just absolutely amazing. So this time around with Data Hub, Newcastle saying shaky defensively as we usually see. Very good in attack. I mean, some strong attacking numbers right there. Uh, but funny enough, if you go to Newcastle, quite decent defensively and very good in attack. Some less numbers in attack, but overall still fantastic job. And then Wolves, same. Quite decent defensively, very good in attack. Again, I mean, pretty much the same there. Fouls per game is the only one that's just missing from Newcastle. But, but Newcastle and Wolves definitely kind of seeing brothers there. Uh, and Tottenham just... I don't know what their defensive issues were. So Premier League stats, clearly Tottenham, strong winners. 96 goals to Liverpool, 79. I mean, that's just awesome. amazing to see. Uh, fewest shots against, you got Wolves and Tottenham. Tottenham and Wolves, yet again. I mean, where's Newcastle in all this? It's kind of funny that they're completely missing. There you go. Newcastle and Tottenham, most tackles once the defensive pieces. Passing, okay. Most shots for all three teams. 640, though. Tottenham, 635. But still getting all the goals. And here you go, most goals in the Premier League, 41 for Holland. Son, Kane, Isaac, and Jimenez, though, all up there. 16 up to whopping 25. Most of this Kulisevsky and Sarabi with 14 apiece, Porto with 13, Trippier and Kane. I mean, this is just dominating the charts right now. Most player of the match awards, Kane with seven. I mean, see, to me, most player of the match awards is kind of useless because six and sevens are fairly average for the tactics we've seen. And most of them are just attacking tactics. So there's a lot of other stats here to take a look at. I mean, the defensive pieces aren't really there. The goalkeeper pieces, eh, they'll always be up there. Most key passes, though, Trippier and Sarabia, usual, 151, though. Amazing job. Most shots, Isaac Cunha and Son. Overall, this tactic, I, it worked. We've definitely seen better tactics do better jobs in getting, I mean, even Wolves to the top is amazing. But right now... It's a five, six, and seven, two in the Europa League, one just missing out on goal differential, but all three teams up there in the tops is a pretty good place to start. And again, if you took control of your the teams, did your own transfers, did your own shouts, did your own training, things like that, you probably could get a little better as well. So, but that is it for me, Sefian FM for the Football Manager Blog channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.